York City's Chinatown, restaurant 456, known for its super delicious and ultra authentic Shanghai Chinese cuisine. There's all the traditional Shanghai food. Traditional Shanghai yes. pork tendon. It feels really, you know, it feels like a, you would imagine a tendon would. And for those of you who don't know, the tendons are the parts that actually join the muscle and the bone together. So you expect something to be kind of fibrous, kind of tough. But I know what they do is they actually boil it in water for a long time, breaks it down, gives it a nice gelatinous, softer feel, and uh, it winds up looking like fat, but it's actually 99% fat free. So it should be interesting to taste. All right, pork tendon, guys. Ready? Mmm. Mm. Very good. These little pieces of chicken on top add flavor. There's also ham, a little sugar, a little salt. Really, really simply flavored. The interesting thing about this is it has almost like a uh, a warm Thanksgiving potato casserole feel to it. You can see that there's a lot of cornstarch worked into the sauce. It's got a great sesame oil, a light salt, a lot like you have that salty, fatty potato flavor at Thanksgiving time. It's flavorless, but flavored with ham and chicken, if that makes any sense. Very good, Helen. High five. You turned it out. Good job, guys. Very, Very good. Best tendon I've ever had, and definitely not the last. Right? Yeah. Cold. Cold. It's cold. Yes, cold. Oh, it is cold, isn't it? Cold. Yes. Sesame oil and natural salt. That's all yeah. that's on this jelly bit. Yeah. It's served cold. The texture is almost like that of a kimchi fermented cabbage. Um, and the flavor is, is subtle, really subtle, just like that. Slightly greasy, unexpectedly greasy. Well, this is how I like my jellyfish, I'll tell you that much. First time eating jellyfish, I would totally do it again, and my throat isn't stinging. I take it back, it doesn't taste like a condom. It's actually pretty good. On a bite?